Hey there YouTubers, this is Daniel Strong with Excel VBS Fun. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some easier ways to do some data entry. Um, in this instance we are wanting to have some autocomplete uh, options to um, and to make our own custom autocompletes. And whenever you have a list, and let's say you're um, typing things uh, as you've typed them, if you hit the letter T on the next line, it auto completes that for you. It's very useful. However, I recommend whenever you're doing a lot of data entry that you have some lists already built up and that you can use user forms to make this extremely fast. So let's go ahead and build. We've already built our list here a little bit. Um, we're going to name this list. I'm going to use a named range. Um, you can name it or you can make a custom or dynamic named range that will uh, uh, keep expanding. So let's do that. Alt IND. And if you don't know how to do this you might want to check out some of my other videos on named ranges. But we're going to name this um, list 1 or something like that. And we're going to say this list is based off of uh, excuse me equals offset of that comma one column down zero or excuse me one row down zero columns over and it's going to be based off of the count of that minus one to compensate for the title and in this case only one column wide it's not multiple columns in that offset thing here and then if you click to test you see that it's dynamic it grows so if I put another one in here and I hit alt ind for the name manager if I click here it is expanded so there's my list it's called list 1 so when we're making our user form I'm going to hit alt f11 I'm going to insert a user form here and I'm going to have a few fields here I'm going to put a label uh, another label and another label and uh, we can of course name them and recaption them. So the first one would be the date and uh, this is going to be a little bit crude a little bit slapped together for this sh for the sake of making a short video so we have our date um, we're going to have uh, our list and our list is going to be what's called a combo box a combo box is simply a drop down menu uh, this will be our list item for our data entry. I'll double click on the corner to auto fit that label there. And let's let's align all three of these here. Right click and align their left sides so that they're all aligned. Finally, this one will be the what did we say here? Date list item and the user. So that will be the username. And I don't know, that depends on if you have users logging into your program or not. But anyway, we'll just have a simple text box that will stay the same. Then you have a little button that you can plop right there. And we'll say submit. And so that's a very basic um, form here. And it doesn't do anything until you add some code. But what we're going to do is when this user form initializes, uh, let's double click on the background and we'll go to user form initialize and it's a lot to take in I know if you've never used Excel VBA but trust me it's going to be worth your time so time saved right it's a stitch in time type of thing the user form initialize code is first of all going to say uh, well let's go back and name these click here double click there and we're going to call this TB date text box which is for the date this is a combo box so I'm going to call it CMB list item and this one I'm going to click and hit F4 and start typing TB user this button we're going to hit F4 and type BTN it's a button and it's a submit button so button submit is the name for that one now we can reference those whenever we're doing things. So double click there. Again, we're back on the user form initialize script here. So what do we want to happen when that user form loads up? Well, we want the me, the user form, dot 
t b date we want that to equal today's date which is a, a built-in thing if you just type the word date and click away it'll auto capitalize that will make that text box be filled with today's date so that's pretty cool next thing we want to uh, when the user form initializes is we want to fill the combo box or the the drop down menu and this is the data entry part that's awesome we want to fill that with uh, with your list so how about this for each cell or for each whatever for each x for each blah whatever for each something rather in and then you just put those little square brackets and you give the name of the range oh whoopsie the name of the range was list one remember when we made that a moment ago and you say next blah or next cell or whatever is equivalent to that so for each one in that list for each cell in that list we are going to uh, add an item to me dot the list C and B the combo box list item that we named dot add item so it's a very simple and basic way to for each cell in that list add that item which was blah or which was cell or whatever we make these all identical for each cell make it that cell and then go to the next one in the list until that's done so if I hit F5 you'll see that we have made the user form initialize it started with today's date the list item is filled with those so the thing here is whenever you tab over there you start typing let's say I wanted house H okay how about uh, computer okay how about uh, jelly how about jelly bean so you can see as I start typing it auto completes and that was the auto complete was the goal there so and then finally we need to program something for our submit button and that's very simple um, the name of this worksheet is what sheet one fine double click on your button and we'll make some quick button code and then you'll have your data entry good to go so um, let's declare this whatever we name this sheet how about s sheet uh, as a worksheet and it's not necessary but it just makes things easier we're gonna set that sheet name to be equal to this workbook dot sheets in quotations it is actually sheet one is the name of that sheet currently and so now we've set this little variable to equal that so we could say <coughs> s sheet dot cells um, wait a second we need to get the we need to get the last row or we need to get the current row that we're on so we need to uh, get the we'll say the next row equals s sheet dot cells this is something you might want to either memorize how I'm doing this or check out my video that shows you how to get the last row so it's going to jump up to this and then add one and, f and that'll be the next row each time now quite simply we're going to say s sheet dot cells and we're going to use the row that is in R we just set up this one here row two in this case comma uh, one that's column one <coughs> that is going to be equal to whatever the date is in that uh, text box and the reason I surrounded that with a C date I'm converting whatever's in here to an actual date format because anything in a text box is a string of text by default the next thing we'll just copy and paste that a little bit control C control V control V so column 2 that's right here the list item is going to be equal to me dot cmb list item and then uh, this one is in the third column here of that row is going to be whatever is me dot tb user 
So let's try this out a little bit. I'm going to uh, hit F5. Now I'm going to type in computer. Oh, I just typed the letter C. And the user is Dan. <coughs> let's hit submit. Okay, whoops. I mean, everything's fine. It's just that the date is so large. didn't fit. Okay, let's, uh, let's load that back up again. Hit F5. Um, house. I'm going to leave my username on there. I'm going to hit submit. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to type jello. Hit enter, hit enter, hit enter. And you can program that after the submit button is hit to maybe clear out something or to automatically select this or something. But there you see the data entry is uh, much less redundant. And you have a dynamic list that you can change at your whim. Um, so anyway, I hope that helped you uh, out there. And thanks for watching.